channel. My name is Phoebe. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. Today I'm going to be taking you all through an upper body workout minus the back and biceps. I plan to do that in a separate video. So today we are working chest, shoulders, and triceps. Um, we are going to be using just a resistance band and one pair of light dumbbells. So grab your stuff and let's get started. First exercise we are doing for this workout are decline push-ups. Decline push-ups are perfect for building strong upper chest muscles. Um, in a decline push-up, you are working, again, your upper chest muscles, the pecs, and you are also working your shoulders, which is a perfect warm-up for this workout that we're about to do. For the next exercise, we are moving into temple wide grip push-ups. These right here, again, are working your pecs, but they are also working your back muscles and they're working your shoulders. This is an upper body workout, so this is perfect because we are hitting every upper body muscle while just simply doing push-ups. Now, it's easily modified, and the reason we're doing tempo, again, is to challenge ourselves. So you are slowly going down, slowly coming up, and we're not doing too many of these, but we are focusing on tempo. As I mentioned earlier, push-ups are easily modified by just doing them on your knees. People tend to call these girl push-ups. They are not girl push-ups. They are just modified push-ups. Here we are maintaining the wide grip and the tempo, so no changes. All right, we are all warmed up. That was not a warm-up. That was part of the workout, but I just think that the muscles should be very warmed up at this point. Here we are doing resistance band chest press. With my home workouts, what I've been doing is mimicking most of the movements that I would be doing if I was in the gym, and that's what I'm doing right here. The resistance band is behind my back. I have the dumbbells in my hands just for extra resistance and extra challenge. You do not have to do either of these. You can either use the resistance band or you can use the dumbbells. I decided to do the most and just use both. You don't have to be like me, okay? Um, right here, you're just pressing up. We are mimicking a chest press, a flat bench chest press at the gym. So there's this belief that if females do any chest exercises, especially flat bench chest presses, it will make your breasts perkier and it would make them sag less. I am here to tell you that it is a lie. Chest presses target muscle, tissue, and not fat. They cannot make your breasts bigger. They cannot make it perkier or smaller. They make your shoulders look good though. Next exercise we are moving into is the chest fly. And the reason I love the chest fly exercise is because it's a great chest opener. It's an exercise that not only works your chest muscles, but it also works the shoulders. It works the stabilizing muscles in your shoulders. It works your core when you do it properly. It works your triceps. So when you're doing certain exercises, keep in mind that this one exercise is working multiple muscles. And I did mention core. And the reason I mentioned core is because if you look at my lower back, it's completely flat on the ground. If you keep your lower back flat on the ground while you are doing this exercise, it will engage your core. Now, will you feel it? Not necessarily, but it is working your core, which is going to give you a stronger core the more you do this exercise and the more you engage your core when you are working out. It's something to keep in mind. The next exercise we are doing are seated shoulder press. The shoulder press exercise, although it works primarily just your shoulders, aka your deltoids, it also works many other upper body uh, muscles. It works your traps, it works your triceps, it works your rotator cuff muscles. It is just essential for all of us. Um, I know a lot of ladies, when they enter the gym, they primarily work their glutes and their legs. But ladies, you do not want to neglect your upper body muscles, especially your shoulders. It looks amazing during the summer when you wear your spaghetti strap summer dress. So keep that in mind and work your shoulders, girl. Next exercise we are moving into is called an upright row. This exercise works the front and the middle heads of your deltoids, AKA your shoulders. But again, it's also working your traps. It's also working your bicep muscles. As I mentioned before, when you work your upper body, you are not working out just one muscle. You are working out surrounding muscles and it's just so awesome because you see little changes based on like simple things that you do. Um, so definitely give this a try. Next exercise we are going to move into after the upright rows are what you called side lateral raises. Now I am using the resistance band so I'm working both shoulders at the same time. Lateral raises will help you develop stronger, larger shoulders. 
Um, they will also help increase your shoulder mobility if done properly. I know not everyone wants larger or broader shoulders, but I promise you, if you work your muscles well, it helps you develop a more proportioned body. And I mean, if you are going to work your legs hard, you also want to work your upper body just as hard. Do not neglect one body part for another. You want to work your shoulders just as much as you would work your legs, just as much as you would work your calves. Because being proportioned is very important. And you don't want certain muscles to be restricted and limited in their range of motion or in their strength. So you always want to work your body from head to toe to fully reap the benefits of bodybuilding and putting on muscle. So here again, I am still doing lateral raises, but I am in a half kneeling stance. The half kneeling stand is exactly what it sounds like. You are on one knee with your shins on the ground. And what this does is it takes an upper body workout and turns it into an ab workout. Um, this adds a focus to my glutes as well as my hip stabilizing muscles because my body is working overtime to keep me upright and not falling forward or backwards or to the side. Right here we are doing front raises using a resistance band. In the gym, I would either be using a dumbbell or a barbell, but because we're not in the gym, we're going to make it work. Um, the front raise exercise works the anterior portion of your deltoid. What I'm saying is it works the front of your shoulders. It works the sides of your shoulders, it works the upper chest muscles, and it also works your bicep. As I've mentioned before, when you are doing a certain exercise, it is not just working one muscle. It is working a plethora of muscles. So again, do not neglect your body work from head to toe and it will work the smallest muscles and you will notice it I promise you next exercise is called an overhead tricep extension this is an exercise that you would grow to love because it targets the back of the arms that is one area that we all tend to struggle with that jiggling that just will not go away this hits the muscle in the back of the arms and the better you get those muscles the tighter the skin will be and you will probably have less jiggling so again it's called an overhead tricep extension all you are doing is standing with your feet hip distance apart hold the resistance band bending the elbows behind your head you are just going to straighten your arms to lift the resistance band in the air and then slowly bend the arms back down keep those elbows tucked in and not flared out Last but certainly not least, we are doing a tricep press down. This exercise works primarily your triceps, but the secondary muscles that are worked, your chest, your shoulders, and your forearms. As I mentioned before, you never work just one muscles, you are working a plethora of muscles. So to do this exercise, you are just going to grab the resistance band with both hands, your palms facing in. With your elbows tucked in at the side, you are going to drive your hands down towards your waist. Once it's down, hold for a second and then bring it back up. And if you cannot feel it in that position, stop and reposition yourself and follow the same steps. Grab the resistance band, push down towards your waist, take a step back, take a step forward if you have to, um, but just follow the instructions and I promise you, you should feel it. If you look closely, you can see the tricep heads of my tricep heads popping. <laughs> They're popping, okay? Um, so you're just going to repeat this for the number of sets and reps that I have listed down below. I hope you all enjoyed this workout. I have many, many more for you all. You be safe out there and stay fit. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and come back for more.